All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. This is a really peculiar comparison. We're looking at a 600 thoroughbred tried and true race machine versus a Bonneville with some sticky tires and some upgraded suspension. Well, today we're gonna find out if you actually need something as razor focused as a 600 for most of your sport going road riding, or if something like the Thrux is actually better and more fun for the everyday user. Let's find out. All right, folks, let's dive into some specs on these two bikes, and they might be a little bit closer than you actually think. The Thruxton over here is powered by a 1200cc, 270-degree crank parallel twin. It's making 103 horsepower and 83 foot-pounds of torque with about a 7,000 RPM limit. The ZX6 over here, however, is working with a 636cc inline four, so two more cylinders. It's making 131 horsepower and 52 foot-pounds of torque with the 16,000 RPM red line limit. Most of that peak power is made about 13,000 RPM with an extra two or three grand for overrun when you're on the track. Now, the Thruxton over here actually does zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Yes, this classic looking cafe racer thing is a rocket ship from 60. Whereas the ZX6 over here actually does 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds, probably down to the fact that this thing has just loads more torque down low and a little bit more usable power. Weight's gonna be a big difference here. This bike is actually gonna come in at 475 pounds versus 425 pounds over here on the ZX6, so about 50 pounds heavier, probably due to the fact that this has an old school steel cradle frame versus an aluminum twin spar frame over here on the ZX6. Now, in terms of suspension and features and those kinds of things, this motorcycle comes with the Showa big piston fork up at the front, an Olin's twin shock out back, a pretty retro setup compared to the mono shock out back here, and the big piston setup front here on the ZX6. This is a much more modern setup versus this, but I think we're gonna see that it'll handle pretty, pretty well on the side of the tire. Uh, speaking of tires, this Thruxton over here is fitted with Metzler Double R Race Tech tires. This is a very sticky set of rubber on this thing. Uh, actually way stickier than I thought it would be. And so much so that in my initial ride and review of this bike, I said that I'd love to take it on track, which is why we're making today's video. This bike over here we have fitted with RS10 tires. We actually spooned these on for this motorcycle. It was actually fitted with a pretty crappy OEM rubber and we actually swapped it out to RS10s. And the other thing you gotta know about these two bikes is the ergonomics package. The Thruxton over here is aggressive, but it's not nearly as aggressive as something like the ZX6. This has about a 32 inch seat height, but the bars come up a little bit taller, so you're actually gonna be pretty comfortable on your ride around town. Whereas the ZX6 over here is the honest to God super bike style ergonomics. You're way down low, way over the bike, really trying to get in the pocket and go for that attack position. Now, for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I have actually ridden both of these motorcycles before, so I don't think it's gonna be as valuable to you guys if I ride them again and tell you what I think. So we're actually gonna get Josh on both of these bikes because he's never ridden a 600cc motorcycle. Yes, Josh, with all of his yeet energy, has never swung a leg over a proper inline four 600cc motorcycle, and I wanna see what he thinks as a twisty road warrior when he rides the Thruxton versus the ZX6. So let's check it out. All right guys, before we get started with today's video, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this Thruxton RS and where we got it from. You know that Eurocycle has helped us out with a bunch of cool loaner bikes and bikes we've purchased for our giveaways, but we're super excited to announce that they are our official dealer partnership going forward. Now, that doesn't mean we're just only gonna have European motorcycles. They can actually get us any type of bikes we want because you know that we love the Japanese bikes, European bikes, and anything else in between. Maybe even a Royal Enfield here and there. Now. Getting these rental bikes and these loaner bikes is so cool for us because it allows our content opportunities to really expand and we're gonna pass that back on to you guys as well. Eurocycle has some of the most aggressive and competitive pricing for European bikes that I've ever seen. That's because they buy basically all the MV Agustas and a lot of other motorcycles and just get them in their dealership and you can get them anywhere in the nation as well. The process is really simple. We've actually done it several times. You just file some paperwork via email, notarize a couple forms, send it back and forth. It's very simple, and then the bike will show up to your door on a truck in a professional manner. It's actually a really great way to purchase a motorcycle if you're not into the whole traditional dealership model. So hit the link down below, check out Eurocycle. I'm sure they have a Eurocentric motorcycle that you'd love to see yourself on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the on the road section of this comparison. You know, let me start off by saying this is a very special event for me that we are cramming into this review video. 
because this is my first ever time on a 600cc motorcycle. Uh, my first time ever riding a 600. As crazy as that sounds, as many bikes as you guys have seen me ride, this is the first time I've ever ridden a 600. I love the sport bike life. I really like my SV. But this thing is super sweet. So uh, I'm gonna try to remain objective here and give the Thruxton a fair shot. But if you're here rooting for that Thruxton, I'd be a little bit worried right now. So Yan told me to come out here and test this bike on some twisty roads. We're out on the city park loop. And uh, this is the sportiest bike you can go buy, right? I mean, super sport. So what we're gonna do is compare and see if you could buy a Thruxton and get, I don't know, all that you get out of this. Not everything you'd get out of this, but is it still fun? Is it still as fun to rip around these curves? We'll see. I'm not out here trying to rip this up like a track. I don't think there's any argument that a Thruxton would keep up with this thing at a track. But this uh, this channel's largely about street riding. And so as a street rider, you know, I, I agree the Thruxton looks a lot better. It's a beautiful bike. Its design has so much heritage. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff about it. It's a 1200cc engine. <laughs> it's a huge engine. And that's, that used to be the sportiest thing around, right? So I guess since this is my first time riding a 600, I really need to be focusing on what I'm feeling and not thinking about the Thruxton. Well, that'll come naturally when I jump on that bike and get back out here on it. So, to talk about what I'm feeling here, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> um, people say 600s are gutless. It's not gutless at all. If you've ever ridden a small bike, this is not gutless, even at low RPMs. We've got great tires on here. We've got RS10s, so I have wonderful traction. Um, the ergonomics on this bike are pretty, pretty sweet. They're a lot of fun. Uh, it's very committed. It's very far leaned over for sure. So this is extremely committed. Uh, I already felt it in my back. I don't ride super sports. They're this leaned over. My SV isn't this leaned over. I think a lot of the bikes that we ride that are really sporty aren't this committed. My God, like it is very far over. Uh, my hands feel about the same height as my knees. I don't think they are in practice. No, maybe they actually are. My hands feel about the same height as my knees, which is pretty low. And it also means my knees are very high. So not super comfortable, but like, I'll just get used to it. It's too much fun. Uh, I, it, it is a negative, but uh, I can get used to it. You know, a few extra back workouts and we'd be just fine for a long ride. The sporty nature though, man, having been to the track and having this much sport ethos underneath me, this is like torture, <laughs> riding this on the street. <laughs> um, and maybe that, maybe that's gonna be a win for the Thruxton, cause I'm at such low RPMs that I can't even get into the power. Okay, maybe you're going that way. I mean, yeah, there, that was fun. Pulled through second gear, but now it's like, well, I don't want to send it through here at 70, 80 miles an hour. So I just stop accelerating. It's kind of, uh, kind of torturous. I've talked about this on the channel before, how certain bikes elicit a certain type of riding from you. And uh, <laughs> this is probably some of the worst, <laughs> I must say. This does not make me want to be a good boy, that's for sure. But uh, I don't know, it's, it's really fun. It's so nimble. And so twisty road stuff is really killer on this bike. It's so lightweight, the handlebars move so light and so easily. To be honest, I live right by these twisted roads, so. If, you, if I had to ride an hour, two hours to get out to good roads, um, like if you're in Atlanta and you gotta go to the mountains to, oh, geez. Um, that would be a pain in the butt. I think we've heard Chase on Two Wheels talk about his like 
that he owns this stance of one knee or elbow on the tank um, so you can get all the way to fun roads but and that would not be fun so I don't know is this a good bike for twisted roads like this no honestly it's not <laughs> because these roads are just too slow too technical there's too much stuff going on they make you want to like lean the bike over too far and you got to carry more speed to get in. it it just is too much it's a blast but it's just making me upset the whole time that I'm not on a racetrack. taking this out every time I wanted to go ride. I, I wouldn't. I'd be more capable. I'd be faster. I'd have a whole lot of fun. To summarize what I felt on the bike, oh man, it's so fun. It's so aggressive. The engine wants to be strung so high. It's just, uh, what a rush. It's like chugging a Red Bull, or, or I guess Monster Energy, right? It's like chugging a Monster. And that's a whole lot of fun, but that's a very narrow bit of what motorcycling is to me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not, not exactly what I thought it would be. I don't like the way it makes me behave. <laughs> so uh, let's go grab that Thruxton, the other sport bike, the, the handsome sport bike, right? And see what we think about that one. All right, everybody. I am aboard the Thruxton RS. 1200 cc parallel twin, big boy engine. I mean, big boy torque. It's not making crazy horsepower because it's a torque first engine. I rode the bike out here and I can tell you right now, these bikes could not be more different. Wow really cool opportunity riding them back to back because it really highlights how different they are so let's dive into it a bit um okay i'm riding them on the same roads which for the selection are pretty sporty roads that's what i was looking for they're pretty um usually not a lot of traffic they're very twisty um these are like the ideal i'm gonna go out and ride real quick and i want to go have fun and get my fix kind of roads and uh, Riding out here on the Thruxton though, I noticed right away how different of a motorcycle it is. And you can probably just pay attention to the way I ride this loop and notice. Um, you can probably draw a lot of conclusions about the differences of the bikes just from that. Um, that ZX6, and I assume all of the Super Sports, just want to be wrung out. I mean, they really do. Like sitting at 4,000, 5,000 RPMs. We've got plenty of power to go down the road, but that's not where the engine wants to be. It's not where you want the engine to be. It's like every chance the road opens up, I just want to like hold it open or downshift two gears, get up into the power band, hold it open, and just bang through gears. Like I'm on a racetrack. This bike though, really lets me enjoy the ride a little more. So it seems like, yo, he's saying all these great things about the ZX6, but it was kind of too much for these roads. It, uh, I said it earlier, it, it was like torture. I mean, I just want to go to a racetrack now on it. This bike, I don't want to take to a racetrack. I don't really have any desire to take this onto a racetrack. Um, it's interesting because Triumph sells it as such a sporty offering, but they have sport bikes and this is not their sport bike um, you read the page where they talk about this bike and there's a lot of 
a lot of words about heritage and the cafe racer class this is the I think they said this is the best handling in its class it's like what what class cafe racer class like so it handles better than the Royal Enfield um, I don't know are there other uh, well I guess you could probably call a Z900 RS a cafe racer and I'd argue that I haven't ridden one yet but I kind of okay you know what I haven't ridden one yet I'm not gonna make any assumptions about them but um, maybe this one handles better. It doesn't handle like a sport bike though. It doesn't do any, are you, are you really? Okay, thanks. It doesn't handle like a sport bike at all. It is so torquey. I mean, the most power you feel when you're taking this guy down the road is every time you go up a gear when you shift, as soon as you hit that gear and drop the clutch, it like lurches forward with all the tor torque. It's just like, ah! takes you straight forward uh, it feels like it's jumping almost and then when you like get wide open and go through a couple gears the rear is like chatter it feels like you're it feels like you don't have traction y you do but maybe you don't maybe we need to get a little bit more detailed about what's actually going on I'll do a pull up here where it gets really straight uh, it, it just it doesn't feel smooth and like how is a bike gonna be sporty and not feel good at full throttle banging through gears so uh this is not meant to be a, a thruxton roast fest um yam did pick a, a sporty boy to come out here and give you his thoughts on it but this is not supposed to be a thruxton roast fest so the strengths about it is that i feel like i could go anywhere uh all day on this bike fast it's a 1200 cc bike it better be fast but uh i mean all the power is right in here when you get up here it's like we're we're going dude. you're asking me we're going but like you feel the most power when i hit another gear i mean it pulls you harder it's, it's like a like a harley or something and i i don't quite get that um I think there's a lot of engines that are more linear and that yes they have great torque low down but also they're a lot of fun to rev out and you can get a little bit more out of them at the peak of their rev range uh an sv650 comes to mind as a great example but this this isn't like that this one really kind of just wants to chill it's like look enjoy my power from low rpms don't rev me out and for me, I am sh totally sure that a good, great, experienced pro rider can get this bike to hustle down any curvy road way faster than I could on the most ideal motorcycle. But that doesn't mean that it's like great for it for the normal street rider. Like just because they can find a rider who can get it leaned over super far for a photo, it doesn't mean that you or I am going to have the confidence to do that. And some bikes build that confidence for you because of how, how planted they feel and how controlled the throttle feels. And other bikes, they'll do it if you make them. They've got two wheels and a motor, so they'll go around pretty quick. All right, so it doesn't do sport bike stuff as good as the sport bike does. That's not a surprise. Um, but is it still enough? Like, is it still fun to come out on twisty roads on it uh yeah obviously it's a motorcycle and you i don't care what you're riding <laughs> on twisty roads it's gonna be fun so that that yam kept posing that question to me he's like look try and figure out is it if if someone wants a sporty bike to go take around twisty roads and have a good time on is a thruxton a good option mm, i this may be my own personal bias against this bike but no not really I, this makes the most sense to me as someone who is just hell-bent on having this aesthetic and maybe the heritage behind the triumph name and behind these bikes the thruxtons have a lot of racing pedigree um, from way back when but they're not racing thruxtons in super sport class <laughs> yeah they're, they're not they're not on the same level anymore and I think that this, doing this, Twisted Road stuff, is 
just as fun on any naked bike. No, this, this stuff is more fun on any naked bike than it is on this bike. Because it's just weird. It's like, what? This bike is just weird about it. They're, it's fun. They're all fun. But uh, it doesn't... I don't know. I'm sure someone down in the comments has a Thruxton and can explain to me all of that I'm missing about this bike. But my hair was on fire when I was riding the ZX6. And it, this, but this bike, it's not. This bike, I feel very confident on. I can turn it around nicely. It's very... It's very sure in where it's going, like like in a straight line. It's not like moved a lot, and, and I don't exactly know the weight on this thing, um, but it, it, it feels well built. Uh, Triumph is known for that, and it is. It's a, a lot of metal on here, very nice components, great suspension, great brakes, um, and the frame is, is sturdy, but it's like, it just, all like doesn't matter how much you throw at it it's not going to do the sport thing like a sport bike does and it doesn't matter that that the clip-ons are clip-ons and not a handlebar i mean look at how far up <laughs> they're raised <laughs> like they're only clip-ons for the look like that's that's handlebar height uh so i don't know this is a very pretty bike it makes great torque if you're looking for something you can ride every single day Enjoy in the city, enjoy on twisted roads, enjoy any place you would enjoy a motorcycle. This is not a bad choice, but uh, it's, in my opinion, nah, it doesn't do the sport thing. Because I think a lot of it comes down to not only will it do it, it will do it, obviously. You can get a great rider and it will do it. But does it... Does it inspire you to do it? Does it inspire you to figure out how to go faster? Does it inspire you to be a better rider? To really chase uh, lap times or, I don't know, do the sporty thing? Nah, I don't think so. All right, folks, we're back here in the shop with Josh after his rides. I actually don't know his feedback yet on these two machines. Josh, today we're trying to figure out, like I told you before you headed out on the bikes, if getting a 600 for the street for like your everyday road riding if it's really that much better or cooler than something more regular road like this. Um, how did you feel on the ZX6 versus the Thruxton? Uh, I love the ZX6. <laughs> <laughs> this was awesome. Because um, you've never ridden a 600 before, right? Yeah, and I started the vlog uh, explaining that, that, like, this is pretty exciting for me. I've never even been on a 600. Yeah, I want but. to point out to the folks at home that Josh has <laughs> ridden a turbo Hayabusa and he had never ridden a 600 before. Yeah, How a turbocharged bike and a supercharged bike. Yeah, you've ridden no an 600. Yeah, <laughs> you did it all backwards, <laughs> yeah. Well, beginner bikes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it, I've talked about this before. Um, they don't elicit the same feelings from the rider, mm -hmm. you know? This uh, feels like your hair is on fire and it wants to be rang out and it loves tearing through all the gears. And yeah. man, if that's what you want in motorcycling, if that's what lures you into it, that is no substitute. Yeah. You know? uh, this is what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this, this is a peach. It's an awesome bike. Yeah. But it's, it's just kind of a normal motorcycle. That's, yeah. It didn't seem to have any major, it didn't have any of the effect that this did in the... Um, the speed bit, the, 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 the way it made you feel riding the bike. Mm -hmm. That one made me relax. Yeah. You know? Do you feel like you could still get after it on the twisties on something like this, given the new suspension it has, the sticky tires, all the effort Triumph made to make this more sporty? Yeah. Yeah. I, but honestly, I felt less confident on that than like a naked sport bike, mm. which, um, I don't know, I think that's sold as more of an everyday bike. Yeah. Um, this is seems to be sold a little bit in the sporty light mm -hmm. that this is the sportiest Bonnie option kind of thing Basically, and, yeah. and Thruxton has a, amazing racing pedigree and history as well um, So yes, you absolutely can make it go fast around corners. Yeah, it just didn't feel like it wanted to yeah Did you feel like um, while you were riding the ZX6 that it was uh, you know, you weren't being able to utilize the bike, whereas you could actually get this up in the revs and feel the torque of it. The ZX6, for me, when I ride it on the street versus the track, it's always like you're leaving so much on the table, you know? Yeah. 
Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, this was was awful to ride because you, there's nowhere you could use any of it. Yeah, it definitely it gets you excited. It makes you it puts you in that mindset where you want to go fast and you want to go faster. Yeah, and, and let it rev out and uh, you just can't do it anywhere meaningfully. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's like you get stuck behind a slow car on this bike and my gosh, it's awful. Yeah. This bike, it's it's a lot better. Yeah, because you can enjoy the torque. Yep. On this bike, you can enjoy that seat is very comfortable mm -hmm. <laughs> um, as, as opposed to this one so yeah yeah the the, the standard motorcycle abilities mm -hmm. this does fantastically so for you as a guy who you have an sv650 you like riding twisties you've been on track a few times um which one do you think would be for your style like better for that type of riding for like road riding twisty road that type of thing what which one would you grab the keys to uh, the ZXX. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. That one just, I, I could not, I tried so hard. And I even went on an extra section of road yeah. to try and figure the Thruxton out a little bit. And I just couldn't really get it, you yeah. know? It didn't make a ton of sense to me. Yeah. Um, and I was underwhelmed by how it peters out at the top of the rev range. Like, it, it doesn't do, like, at the top of the rev range, it's just not having as much fun. Yeah. And you can tell when you're riding it. Some bikes, uh, like an SV, will mm -hmm. rev all the way up and give you more at the top, but still has torque at the bottom. So this is, this is made for some rider that gets something that I don't. <laughs> I, yeah. I, yeah. I find it interesting, you know, because um, I rode both of these bikes, and if it were me, and may maybe this, because I, I am in a very different position in my riding than you are, like I've done hundreds of track days, raced motorcycles, like I honestly, it would take a lot for me to reach to the keys for the ZX6, because I'm like, what yeah. is the point? You know, I know what these bikes can do, and I think it's just like sacrilege to ride them on the road, because I'm like, it's pointless, you know? Yep. So I would personally reach for the keys for this thing, because I feel like you can have enough fun with it. I love the way this twin makes its power. I love the velvety smooth torque it has down low. You don't have to ring it out a bunch. And uh, I think it's cool that you can get two riders and two bikes, and you walk away with two very different experiences and opinions, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because uh, I, I just could not wrap my head around this motorcycle. It was so weird. <laughs> Most bikes, I feel like I can jump on and be like, yeah, I kind of, I get it. I get what they're thinking. So I just really don't get it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a, it's a neo-retro homage to old race bikes of the past. It has a lot of vintage charm to it. Yeah. Come on, twin analog clocks here. It's a beautiful thing to look at, you know. It's, uh, it's a special bike, but I can understand if you're a younger rider or maybe you're not as experienced with track day stuff and racing, you want that fast hair on fire experience. A 600, you know, is gonna, gonna make you feel that for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up today. According to Josh, no substitute for the real deal over here on the ZX6. If you wanna go fast, get a real sport bike. But uh, in my humble opinion, I think that if you are a regular road rider and you're not super into the hair on fire thing, something like this, could uh, actually be pretty good for you. But as always, maybe your opinion is different than both of ours. You should definitely ride both styles of motorcycles if you're trying to go rip up twisty roads. Ride a lot of different bikes, man. Try naked bikes, sport bikes, neo-retro bikes, uh, something like the RS660, which splits the difference between a lot of bikes. Um, try a lot of stuff before you think and lock into a certain type of motorcycle. And uh, that's gonna be it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Keep watching Amy Noob!